Hillsdale. I've just gone through Jindy. And just to be on the safe side of grab the bag of ice, grab some more sausages, something to go with those sausages. Um, and I'm gonna head down Barry Way to get home. So I might camp down there tonight. It's only early, it's 12.30, daylight savings, you gotta love that. But I'm wearing this, this shirt here, and it's from um, the Red Dust Adventures. They're over Pilbara Way. Brad and Fee, they got a saying, and it's written on here, any way but the highway. And my little slogans, put some gravel in your travel. So, rather than going to Cooma, you know, all the way to Cam River and back up the Princess Highway, I'm going to put some gravel in my travel, any way but the highway. Let's see what this brings. Okay, we're up on top of Wallace Craig, you look out, we're at elevation of about 900 metres. It's pretty good views out there, that's for sure. You can see the barrier way there, just keeps making its way down and around through the gullies and the valleys and until it hits the Snow River down below, so we'll just, uh, we'll keep moving on, eh? corner so it always just pays to be aware just head in the jacks lookout obviously I've been here before and done an episode on this I'm could say I'm just killing time to get home but um, go back and check that out if you want a bit more of a detailed run through of the Barry Way. But um, yeah, I'm just yeah, yeah, doing what you do, I suppose. Put some gravel in your travel. Anyway, about the highway. Some cracking views from up here, that's for sure. Um, I think there's a fair few people kayaking and canoeing, might be a school group here or something, so you never know, we might get to see them. See, I can see some people down there. Oh, yeah. There's definitely some kayakers or canoers, I see some rafts way up further and whether they're falling out or not and they're actually swimming to the shore sort of down there I reckon that'd be so much fun honestly I reckon they've just jumped out because the rafts are up further and they're actually on the bank and I reckon they've just come down through those rapids there it's a pretty narrow section and pretty Fair bit of water running through there. Yeah, 
Yeah, true, honestly. Now they're walking back up the rocks, heading back up towards the raft. That's cool, eh? That's shit hot. One other thing before I leave Jack's lookout. Um, if you're a photographer and you like doing time lapses and night lapses and just photography in general, this is a good spot to pull up. I met a guy here, I have to go, I can't think of his, his uh, hashtag or his tag for Instagram, but he takes some amazing time lapses and, and night, like night lapses and all that sort of stuff. But there's a good little spot here. Like obviously the outlook's just over there, it's sensational, but there's a, there's a bench here, there's a bit of a space, a bit of flat area, there's a fireplace over there. Yeah, if you want to take some good, good shots, this is a spot to come, I reckon. The outlook out there is just insane, so. All right, let's go. Okay, so it says it's day use. Just rock up here real late. Okay, I've just come down to a campsite called Running Waters. Just gonna walk down and check this out. I might even go for a swim actually. It's, it's warmed up a fair bit. Looks pretty nice. Bloody beautiful. I should do this more often, eh? Seriously, I don't know why I don't do this more often. I suppose it's not really winter now either, so there's no snow melt coming down here. But um, yeah, long drive in the saddle. It's a good way to probably cool off a little bit, seeing the AC is not the best in the troopy. It'd be cool if I saw those rafters come past our way. That'd be excellent. Just cruising down there like that. Shit hot. Oh. 
That was bloody excellent, eh? Hey? Oh, that feels good. Nice and refreshed. Gonna love that. All right, it's time to keep moving on. Keep making tracks. gates on this side of the border eh? I'll jump out and have a look at this just a little um, riverfront camp on the snow river not too bad you could probably fit a couple of cars down here it's reasonably level what a spot but I was talking to a guy up at uh, Wallace Craigie lookout earlier on and he recognised me as being the guy on his troopy and he said he watches me all the time which I was taken back by and um, he said they camp down here a fair bit, but they haven't been here since the fl last flood, so I think he might be the next one up. But yeah, not bad. The river separates here. goes around this little rock island here, which is pretty cool. It's get getting a couple of drops of rain. Um, I'm saying it's fucking magnificent country. It really is. If you haven't been down to Barry Wade before, I'd recommend coming down and trying it. Like I said, I've got a video out already about this so I'm just trying to find some different spots and show you guys some different locations where you can camp and whatever else so just on the way home just filling in the day really not bad an oldie. Imagine coming to school here back in the day.
I've just taken my next turn off, I'm heading towards camp. Just pulled over and uh, got some firewood. I want to call in and see a hut up here, which I found a couple of years ago. Uh, I've got Roger's hut. Now, I'm a little bit reception of about 10 minutes ago, my sister I messaged her and said I won't be home tonight. I'll be there in the morning. And she goes, I'm going to flood it in. I said, no, nah, of course I'm not flooded in. She goes, well, I think there's some serious rain coming. So, oh, yeah, thanks for the heads up. I'll make sure I camp on a little bit higher ground. So, yeah, I'm only about uh, six, seven k's from the hut and probably about 10 k's, 13 k's from camp. So, we'll get there, get set up. I'll put up the whole setup and uh, get a fire lit and see how we go. I probably should just drive home. At least everything will be dry. But hey, where's the fun in that? Currently up about 1,450 metres in elevation, and just looking out over there on the hills, they are starting to disappear. I reckon this rain's going to beat me to camp. This is Roger's hut. Gonna be setting up in the wet, I think. It's slow. It's a nice old hut, dirt floor, fireplace. And uh, rain. Rain's gonna beat me. Okay, that was Roger's heart. Just a real quick visit. Pretty basic, but it's well built. Um, I should get out of here now, like work out whether I'm going to set up camp and I'll just go home now. This rain, I think it's going to really set in, so.
It's been a big day. Made it to my next destination. Matt and Nate's dog camp uh, on the Limestone Road in between Sugumbugan Road and Benambra. So never camped here before. We're up around about the 1500 metre mark, I think, or somewhere around that area there. So once again, you can get snow here, but not at this time of the year, I'm guessing. So the rain might have cleared up a little bit, so it could be in luck. But anyway, look, I'll get set up, light a fire, and uh, crack a can. Then I just realised I'm parked the wrong way around. The awning's on the other side. Dickhead. Yeah, I think I got it right this time. Well, deserve one of them. Set up. Got the whole full kit and caboodle out. So yeah, it's been a, been a big day driving off. I was just gonna check how many Ks I've actually done. I wouldn't think it'd be too many, but anyway. Crazy, hey. 183 plus point over 40, it's about 220 Ks. And I think I left down there at 10 o'clock at Gungarland River Camp. And I pulled up here at say Nice little stream there. I think I might have cracked getting this fire going before everything gets way too wet. Then um, crack that beer actually first. That's probably first on the list. And then, um, yeah, kick back in the rain. It's pretty, uh, Pretty nice campground this one. It's all neat and tidy. It's reasonably level. There's a big spot over there for groups, I'd say. There's a big setup over there, actually. They're all, I might go over and see them later. They're, fuck, they're flash. You've got Mercedes Benzes, uh, Land Rovers. Looks like they're mostly extended chassis as well with massive big rooftop tents on them. I'm guessing they're probably gonna be very unsociable. But hey, why not, eh? Give it a crack. But yeah. Not bad. I hope this rain pisses off. I'm gonna grab a beer, another one. I'm gonna go visit my neighbours. Apparently this party is the real shit part of the camp. 
No one came to see because it's really shit. I. Jack Cutherson? Yeah. Oh, he's dead now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, his partner was my grandfather, Ray Richards. Oh, in the sawmills. Yeah, yeah. sawmills oh, and racehorses yeah. and dairy farms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, Peter Cathy keeps it. Oh, I broke one working in a four-man bench once. <laughs> That's the last time I worked in a sawmill. Have you seen some of the Some of your friends. Murray knows who he is. Oh, oh right. Yeah. Yeah. I watch his YouTube. So oh, okay. Yeah. Um, God, he's tricky, Mum. I'm, I'm, I'm famous. Don't <laughs> 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 no, you subscribe, Murray? No, no. no. Don't be bad. Don't subscribe. For fuck's sake. All right, guys, it's over. We're out of here. No, Murray watches a lot of YouTube. Don't get too excited. Yeah, I nearly got 3,000. You're joking. So how much is it? You, you, you want to see the video when I said smoke falls beauty? No. Never I go to trip smoke falls me. Uh, I said it's I'm like having trouble right now. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, give yourself. I don't know. Would you, like, would you like a chair? Do you do you do chairs? Would you like a chair? Nah, uh, I don't do chairs. Okay. Uh, I think I might have spent a bit too long over there. I think my fire's out. Morning everyone. Um, last night, well, pretty much rained all night. And if it wasn't raining, well, I'm parked under this canopy of trees here, so it felt like it was raining anyway. Um, yeah, it was a good night, but like, do I wish I had gone home instead of camping? Well, I probably do to a degree. Because now all this stuff's soaking wet. I've got to go and set it up again. But there's one bonus, I suppose, is the swag's still dry and the bedding's still dry, so. Um, I went over and saw the crew over here. They're mainly from Melbourne. Um, there's three Mercedes Benz four drives over there, and they're set up with oh, unbelievable setups. Like all the kitchens down below, they've got rooftop tents up top. You walk into the back of them to get into the rooftop tent. Uh, and there's a patrol as well, which I think I'm pretty sure it was Murray. He's from Warrigal. He actually watches the channel, but it's not a follower. So I'm hoping now, Murray, you'll be following. I appreciate it if you do. 
Um, and they're about to take off on a four month trip next year and they're going to do all the deserts. So they're going across the SA, doing Googs, and Beetle, Gun Barrel, CSR. They're going to head up, probably do the Gib, I suppose, go up to the Darwin, then come back through the Guts and do the Simpson Desert and a couple other ones as well, which I probably forgot. So um, they're half their luck. They're all retired, um, living the dream. So good on them. Um, yeah, well, I suppose best get this packed up and uh, yeah, get it packed up and go home and settle up again. <laughs> You'll love it, eh? All right. Okay, well, that's uh. Everything packed up, the last of the rubbish in the bin bag, firewoods in the back for the guys over there for tonight. Campsite's looking pretty neat and tidy. Um, yeah. Hit the road, eh? Well, drop the wood off first, then I'll hit the road. I sort of hope these guys have gone out um, hiking or something because 10 to 8, that's not camping. What's going on guys? Sure you can't all be still asleep. I suppose if setups like this... It's Sunday it is. What? It's Saturday. <laughs> there you go. I think it's Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. I think it's Saturday guys. Yeah. Nice comfy bed mate. Yeah, oh, they look comfortable. Can't go wrong. Let's drop some firewood off. Good on you, buddy. Thank yeah. you. Oh, yeah. good. You know, we chewed our up last night, so uh, yeah. yeah. Sleep well? Uh, yeah, the rain was a bit annoying, wasn't it? They're probably the ultimate touring rigs, I reckon. Don't know how they go up in the high country, but yeah, as for desert trips and touring around, bloody awesome, eh? All right, looks like they're all still sleeping. I'll um, make some moves, get out of here.
to go 